All right, so let's take the demon team onto a trip to PvP. Especially with a new rule, we are going to be hitting like a truck. If you do not know what the rule is right now, for every time that you get attacked, your um, attack related stats or your attack, I can't remember what it was, um, gets increased by 10%. And additionally, if you survive an ultimate, you will recover 50% of the HP, which is obviously going to go very well with Tarmiel Link because it stacks. So you'll heal the 50%, you'll heal the 50 plus the extra 30%. So, our first team is against an Angel team, and in my opinion, Demons are still better than Angels, mainly because um, most of the Angel units are outdated, so I'm going to use Meliod as a single target just in case he has dodge food, which I do not think he has, and then I'm going to skill effect block him, and then I'm going to Chandler counter. Chandler counters are going to hit insanely hard. Like, I, I had a Chandler counter that hit 700,000. That's how strong it is. But yeah, he did not have dodge food, so this is going to be an easy sweep from for my demons. Although the RNG that we got could have been better. We do have a um, level 2 Esterosa Flood and a level 2 Esterosa um, cover action. But yeah. Sariel counter isn't the um, biggest threat in my opinion. I'm just going to like sweep it. Then I'm going to level one just in case I do not kill Sariel. And then like I can guarantee the kill and I do not waste the level two on it. I'm just not as confident on the true magic. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Meliodas just doesn't count. 313,000. And 171 from Esterosa. He just doesn't care. Like, my L's damage reduction doesn't matter when it comes to uh, this PvP rule. You can kill Esterosa. Okay, you didn't. At this point of the match, it doesn't matter if Esterosa dies, because the, the heavy hitters of his team have already been. The, the heavy hitters, the, most of the supports have already gone. And well, I could do the level th nah. I'll, I'll just go for the level two and make my life easier. I'll get as much darkness as I can, and then I'll just um, give him a little payback. <laughs> we'll use the flood first for the extra darkness, and then I'll do the cover action, which does increase damage per darkness on the enemy. And there you go, get the payback, Mael. <laughs> and he forfeit. <laughs> Alright, on to the next match. We out CC, it's a demon team. It's pretty much the same team that I have. Okay then. Level 2 Chandler counter would hit hard, but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, um. Okay, Chandler has the Antomia. Um. Who do I want to skill effect block? Q. Then I'll AoE to do maximum damage. And then I'll counter to see what you do. <laughs> As you can see, you. Yeah, Meliodas just does amazing damage turn one. Like, Zeldris in the back just helps a lot, but if I had Zeldris and Cusack, I'd be doing a lot more damage. Like, 20,000. 20,000 more. Okay, buddy, do you know that if you don't attack, you can't ult rush? <laughs> Right? Oh well. Um, do I go for the kill? Ah, fuck it. Let's see if my Meliodas can... Nah. I got greedy. But I'll heal all that back, so it's okay. I know how much room magic. Ooh, that's quite, that's quite a good gamble. That's a very good gamble. I'm gonna heal all that back, buddy. <sighs> That's not gonna do anything. One crit. If he would have crit every single time, he would have. He would have got me. I'm just gonna do the Diane bow. That was a good game. Very good game. Very good game. And he forfeits. <laughs> Alright, this is not my favorite team to face because 
this is not a very good team to face, because <laughs> Eskinor is a funny man. Up to four skills of a revive, that's not good. Um, but I think Meliodas is the bigger threat. threat sorry. I'll just do this. Dragon Claw. And I'll put up the counter. Make my life a lot easier. Okay. I, I can do a level 2 um, into the Diane counter. And then I can just AoE. But I don't, I don't think I'll do that. I think I'll go for the AoE first, and then just guarantee the kill on Diane. Even though the better option is to go for the... Um, the AoE with my true magic, but I want to see damage. So I'll just do that. I'll go for the AoE first. And then I'll go for the level 2 single target. I just want to see damage. That's the whole purpose of this video. Three hundred twenty-nine thousand. Melly's just a different beast with true magic. He has two level twos. Okay. Okay, <laughs> he caught a level three. <laughs> okay, well that goes my Meliodas. <laughs> um, that's not good. I think I'll just kill his Meliodas and move on to the next fight because the purpose of this video has has died. <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's just kill the um, Meliodas with Esterosa. Esterosa is still such a good unit even with HP defense. It's, it's incredible. The damage. Calm down, Esterosa. Alright, moving on to the next fight. Another Angel team. Angels are very popular. Ooh, double AoE. This back in the Hendrickson days. <laughs> it would have been such a good start. Ooh, okay, I'll, I'll go for one. And then I'll just skill effect block the Margaret. Let's get like two darknesses onto her. I'm not reducing her damage, her stats, sorry, but I'm increasing my stats, which is the good, which is what I want. So... Okay. Not the worst RNG, not the best either. Okay, full counter. I'm healing the damage that you do to me. Chandler is just a different beast. Jesus. I wanna be so greedy right now. I'm gonna be greedy. I'm 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 going for it. I'm I'm going for the true magic. And then the AoE. And I'm going to see if I can kill Mael, even with all the damage reduction he has. Granted he is encroached, but encroachment doesn't do anything, so. Okay. Come on! Yes! <laughs> oh, what a fitting end! Oh, my L just got eviscerated, Jesus! 